All right, so welcome back. Hopefully, uh, the update is now live on uh, Global for everybody so they can enjoy and have some fun with the uh, the new slime collaboration. First off, best of luck to anybody pulling. Hope you guys can all pop off and get everything you're looking for. I'm talking 6-6 six, six, everything in uh, 300 gems. Hopefully, you guys get that summons and uh, it goes good for you. So, best of luck to everybody pop off and everything. Today, though, we got to talk about Glamin. Yes, the brand new boss that's going to be releasing. We're going to be doing a full clear guide here. Two turns, three turns, every team we got to beat this annoying little boss here. Listen, this boss does provide, again, some good stuff here. R uh, range between, again, SR coins, over here being, again, good mats, and, again, being relic boxes and other things associated. This uh, shop, I think, will be updated also progressively, but for right now, you need to know how to beat this to get the uh, legendary coins also to LR your character. You also need to make sure that you guys take care of everything here. Be ready for it. We're going to jump into it, talk about it, and go over how to fast farm this Again, quickest methods and everything you need to know. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. We're going to hop straight into it, uh, go and uh, formulate some teams, and then get through it uh, as much as I can for to play-wise. But there will be some teams here that require some uh, some meteor characters. Because, again, it is a collaboration uh, dungeon or boss or whatnot. But there are some options that are always free to play that you can use. Let's hop into it. So, for the first team over here, we're going to be running the one and only Boulder and Albedo combo to see what we can cook up again when it comes to frying this boss here. Again, we are running the full defense set uh, for Boulder. I think that we don't have it UR yet uh, for him, but it doesn't really matter. I think we should be able to hear, uh, be able to still cook uh, and everything. We also are running attack food. This is the new mechanic to like increasing difficulty. If you want to, that is fully up to you if you want to increase difficulty, um, but you don't really need to. Right, there, there is no real need, unless you just want extra rewards. If you do, maybe it doesn't become a two-turn uh, because of your combat power and whatnot. But we won't be doing it because, again, not really necessary in order to uh, kind of get through this. But uh, we're going to be, again, full clearing. Fast as possible. Two turns. We'll, we'll see exactly uh, which team operates the best, which team doesn't operate the best. But uh, first up, just attack with everyone, basically speaking. Um, burn just every card you have. So over here... We have a beta card going through, does 111. Over here, Boulder doing 153. Again, this isn't the hardest difficulty you have, so. If you want it, or well, hardest difficulty theoretically, because again, now they have those new functions, increasing difficulty further. If you want to increase it, it's up to you. But uh, again, I don't really think there's a need, but if you want to, it is, uh, it is a function, so. We'll do this, this, taunt up, and taunt up. That's it, so. Pretty simple. Again, if you do increase difficulty, this team will still clear uh, because of just the sheer strength, the boulder, and uh, albedo. So, um, if you want to, be my guest. Increase difficulty by one, two, three, however much you want to multiply it. But again, fully up to you. Over here, 86. So again, she's going to continuously build, and also boulder's going to be able to do damage on the side. Uh, here again, now you buffed up one of them. Now the damage is increased. And again, the other will fall through in, in kind, 77. So, again, very similar boss with this team. You can still farm this again. If you do increase the difficulty, I think one or two, you still will be able to clear with this team um, just because of how kind of good the team is. Again, you do get 22 per run here. If you do increase it, I think you get more of this currency. I think that's kind of how it operates. But uh, it's up to you if you would, would like to, right? It's, again, fully up to you if that's what you want to do. Again, you do this over here. It increases the difficulty. It does have a translation here. I'll check what it says. But, um... Again, it's up to you if you want to do it. This says, clear the stage, re re receive an additional uh, Kleeman Mask Fragment. So that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, simple. All right, next team. So next up over here, we have Escalorn, we have uh, Arthur, we have Roxy and Mikasa. Again, I know people are going to be like, oh, she's not free to play. If you have any other character that operates with the team, it works, correct? Uh, Rudus, I don't have him. Um, Dan of Liz. Blue Dan of Liz might be a little slower, but again, she doesn't really have an attack card, but you can still get away with using Blue Dan of Liz because of the just raw innate ult, or, uh, just damage, right? Uh, being pushing the other team, or, or other parts of the team. So, that's there. Anybody to, again, complete this. If you have, uh, Transcendent Bond, not the best, because I don't think you can debuff, but, uh, again, any human that can complete the team. You can just run Percy. Anybody. Just anybody. Doesn't matter. Just, just whoever you want to use on human team. Uh, Mikasa is, in my opinion, better for this one, just because of the single target and everything, but if you have blue down for Liz, just use her. Make sure you, she doesn't die, though, because, again, you will take some damage if you fail to two-turn, so that is there. We'll, we will AoE 
So AoE, AoE, do this, and do this. Um, should be more than enough damage, pretty sure. We are doing it on extra one difficulty too, by the way. Uh, because I know people are going to be like, dude, do it on extra difficulty. These both, the first and second team, easily can do it on um, harder difficulty. One billion percent. It's, it's a very... It's a, to t these two teams, it's a very easy boss, right? That's, that's how things work, but... Here we go. We do have some pretty good RNG here. I won't lie. Let's do this. Let's do this. 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 Again, you really only need two. One, one Escador card and one Roxy card in order to kill. You can see, again, death damage will be the most brunt of it. Like, take it down here. A little off. Over here. But that's, again, it. Just death damage is the main <laughs> saving grace here. We didn't even need Arthur's card, which, again, uh, is a... Uh, Pretty heavy hitting card, so do what you will with this information. Another easy fast farm team, two turns, simplest in my opinion. Again, if you don't have Mikasa, there are options. Don't just say, "Hey, you know, it's not free to play." Use Dana for Liz. That's the one, right? Blue Dana for Liz. I'll show you what she looks like just again. If you are in need of that, but go over here to Goddesses, scroll down, Blue Dana for Liz. You don't got Blue Dana for Liz, you can straight up run. Um, where's Hugh? And over here, you can run. Um, Let's see. This is fine. If if need be, you have. Um, I think I think Brunhild was run on JP. So I've seen teams also with that. But uh, mainly again, if this is it, go for it. If not, well, you have other teams. Let's go into the next ones. Yeah. So again, you can run this over here. It's gonna be Nabe. It's gonna be Thor. It's gonna be uh, what is it? Um, Nanashi and Freyr. Again, put the gear sets, which is however attack crit uh, or HP defense depends on what you want to do here. But we have attack food run. We're going to just jump in and try this out, see how it goes. But again, it's more of a straightforward boss if you know what you're doing. And again, if you want to raise difficulty, you're more than welcome to. The first two teams, I'll be honest, can easily handle that difficulty. Uh, this one might not be able to do as much as you want it to, but it's still powerful. Hence why I'm showing it to you. So do what you want with that information, but let's do this over here this over here and then chuck both frayers off so there you go let's see the damage should be again pretty solid for what it is uh thor with death damage is always more than enough to kill so there is that but here we go here we go okay pretty simple next up we just continue to spam with thor and we're done yeah we got an extra thor card again the rng is there if you don't get a thor card it would kind of suck but um Depends. Let's do this over here. So that should build her entire uh, thing. Right? Maybe? No? Here we go. 71. No, I didn't build it yet. Never mind. If you give that death damage, we would have been able to do something. So there's that. There's that. And this, again, we won't be able to do turn uh, with this team here, again, as mentioned, but I thought we could do it on the uh, lower difficulty than that. Kind of sucks. We didn't build this up uh, quick enough. If you could, that death damage is better, but sadly didn't get to. So maybe, again, it's, just, it's RNG, though. That's how Thor kind of operates, but still, again, didn't take much damage here because, again, it is a tanky team, and now Thor will uh, hand him his rear. So here we go. Uh, now with death damage, right? <laughs> That's kind of how things go. So... There we go. That's the um, other team over here. Again, if you have um, Thor and Nabe, it works. It operates not as fast as the Boulder team, not as fast as the human team, but still, it's a functional team. So if you want to run it, it was an option. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, let's get to the next one. But yes, in honor that it is a collaboration, though, we have to run a, uh, a collaboration-oriented team just one time. We don't have uh, Shion on the team, sadly, because... Yeah, I have to build her. But Shion would go over here instead of Milam if you if you have her. I always do this for every video that I do for a boss and such. Uh, so if you want to use this team just for fun, again, up to you. I would just use the other ones as those were the guide specific ones that I would I recommended. Uh, this is just because every video that I record for this, it's a it's a uh, what's the word like ritual? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the word is, bro. It, it, we do this as a thing every time. It's just fun, but every time I do a collaboration uh, guide, I always use the collaboration character one time for one team. So, for this team, we gotta do it in honor of the collaboration, but we shall AoE, we shall do this, we shall... Um... Do this and this. Pretty sure that's more than enough, right? Milim should be able to nuke here. So, here we go. AoE doing a nice form 13. 
Freya doing a nice 88. Milam should now be buffed up. Boom, 205. And over here. And we. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, okay. Clemens on the ground there. Nice. Okay. Here we go. So for this, we can do Malim over here. This. 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 I don't know if that's enough to kill, but we'll see. 71 with a bit of death damage. 71. So yeah, Shion is just far better. Shion does like 150. Dude. So she, she is PvP or PvE oriented. So that is uh, understandable why she does that much, but yeah, Shion does just a crap ton of damage. Bit of death damage there, okay. Again, not a two-turn, but we expected that going in, right? If we have Shion, it's a two-turn, 100%. If we have Shion, it's a two-turn, 100%. She does like 127 for attack. It's crazy how much she does, but here we go. Let's gold Carbo Malim. I think she should kill. Here we go. Let's see. Freya still does the crap though. <laughs> Man, does the most. I was afraid we wear the Rimuru. Come on, bro. I think it's because of the, the passive the boss has. Here we go. 93k. We're done. That's it. Have to use one of these teams because it's always tradition. All right. Tradition was the one I'm looking for. But yes, that is the fast farm over here for Claimant. Enjoy. I hope you guys uh, can get the teams formatted. Again, it is free to play to a degree. Um, some of the teams get easily. The human team is still the most free to play. Just run human team. Um, so yeah, take care. Have fun. Peace out. That's been it.